Welcome back to Grand Tactician the Civil War. This is our Confederate campaign that started in 1861, February, the early start. We are here in episode 23, I want to say. <laughs> We're back up with another battle here at Jefferson City. This is the I think this is the third battle in the space of a month or maybe a month and a half. But anyway, it's October the 9th, 1862. We are fairly well outnumbered here, but we are on the defensive, which, you know, I was expecting to be on the offensive because when I saved this earlier, it said we had to attack. Then I've loaded it back up to record the episode. And it says we have to defend. I have no idea how the AI, the computer, the AI, how, how they work this out. But either way, I don't mind. We can defend this. I'd rather defend. So let's have a look then. What do we got here? Um, so we're feeling 45,000 men, give or take. We're estimating the enemy has 98,000 on the field. So this is a huge battle, basically. The objective is here at Willow Garden. Before we get started, though, if you missed the previous episode or episodes, then click on my channel, find the episode you're up to, or start from the very beginning if you're new, and check it out. Um, so let's get back to the video here. I don't want to waffle on too much. We've got three corps on the field. The only reinforcements we're expecting is Posey with his engineers, which is just it's less than 3,000 infantry, basically. So they're due within 24 hours, but, you know, they might make a difference, but I, I doubt it. <laughs> um... So the, the Willow Garden, that's what we're fighting for. Willow Garden, maybe it's a little town or whatever it is. Well, either way, let's have a little look around here. It's actually a reasonably well defensible position by the look of things, except we're on the downward slope. Let's come out of the HQ view, actually. Um, so we do have hills behind, but it's quite heavily wooded. Um, now, we've got stone walls. We've got fences. We've got 41 engineering points. We can definitely set something up here. The only downside is the AI is going to have this mountain to place his guns on and for us to launch any counter-attack up. But, uh, I mean, I could deploy at the top here, but it's actually still the reverse slope of the hill, so I wouldn't be able to put defences on here, really, uh, with and make it any use. So I feel like we're best off deploying around Willow Garden. I think that's what we're going to do. It could well be the wrong call, but that is how it's going to go. Um, we've got a defensive fence running here, which the Union may occupy, because I don't think I'm going to be able to stretch our guys up here. So what I'm planning on doing is actually using this fence to put our guys behind. We'll run some defenses this way, and we'll pop our guns, especially the rifle guns, on these little hills behind. So we've got a nice hill here, and we've got a nice hill here and here. So let's let's go with that let's see how that goes um like i will say uh it's possible we're going to lose this battle i mean i'm open to that idea uh in fact in a way i would kind of like to because I, it's been a long long time since we lost the battle against the ai and i've just verified the game file so who knows possibly something's gone better let's have a look at our forces while i set them up here uh so we well before i set them up i'll, I'll not make you guys watch all that crap <laughs> so we've got uh cheatham's core here the missouri district somewhere yeah, just under fifteen thousand men we've got martin smith with his reserve core uh thirteen and a half thousand men and we have got i think it's van dawn yes van dawn right here so i think this is kind of how we're going to go with it uh smith's going to hold the left cheatham the center Van Dorn the right. Yeah. So I'll see you guys back when I've set up the defense. Okay, so I've set up the first bit of the defenses. I've actually put Van Dorn in the center here because I wanted Jennings' artillery on the right flank more. They're, they're all rifled artillery. All right, then. So here we go. We're set up. <laughs> We're strung out. We've got no re reserves, really. Uh, our artillery's placed behind. We've got some cav reserves, but that's it. Uh, so, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. If we need to reorganize, we'll reorganize. We'll wait and see what the enemy does. 
the one thing we have going for us is that our men are very well experienced. I'm going to send out some skirmishers. Just take positions up on these fences that I've got around here. The brigades are pretty battered, however. Especially in this right-hand flank area. Oh, I didn't actually move Beauregard. What was I thinking? Beauregard's moving up himself anyway. That's fine. So we're using the fences in a lot of places for defense. This is a stone wall, so we could pull back that if need be. It all depends on what the AI does and if he's got... Uh, what he's got going for himself today, basically. Some days the AI does nothing and other times they fight pretty hard. Most of the infantry have a perk, as you can see. Well, I flick through them there. Ooh, what the... Now, I did not expect them to come from here. That is not what I expected at all. Now, I don't know if it's going to be his whole force coming from this flank, but <laughs> it could cause us some issues if it is. We haven't really got much in position on the right. I did not expect him from there. But we did just spy him. I'm going to send skirmishes this way. That's obviously not to say that his whole force is going to be here, but certainly I spied somebody here. And it might be that we need to shift some guys around. Oh, skirmishes haven't picked them back up, so I don't know. Don't know what's going on here. <laughs> there they are. There they come. Yep. Right for this gap. Almost like the AI knew it was going to be there. Isn't it? So we need our skirmishes to slow him down. He's marching there. Oh, actually, he's coming here as well, so I'm not sure. Let's see how this goes. I'm going to redeploy Polk onto this right flank and see if he can give them some fire support. Could be just a diversion. Got to keep an eye on things. At least these guys are armed with Richmond Carbine, so we're going to dismount them and pop them along this line. Hopefully, it's enough to hold. This could be just a division. I, I don't know. We can deal with division. He's probably just probing to see what we've got. Get the skirmishes in place. It's all good still. <laughs> Our morale's 58, his morale's 72. Now, we've kicked his arse here so many times, I don't understand how his morale could possibly be higher than ours. Well, like I say, I don't know. Our gun's going halfway around the world to get over here.
passing skirmishers armed with Mississippi rifles. Nice long range on them. Walker's cavalry is in place at least. Uh, the 10 pounder parrots are almost here as well. The horse artillery. We should give some support here. They've got their guns opening up on us. See if we can take those guys out. Taylor's cab. It's only 400 and odd of them, so we've got to watch what we're doing. But Stevenson's cavalry. Let's get them up here. Let's see what that's going on. Again, we still don't know if that's just a probe or if that's a full scale attack, so we can only see possibly a division's worth. Let's see how this goes. Causing those artillery men some problems, that's, that's good at least. It's one thing we're kind of lacking in this army, is artillery. Oop, here we come. Guns and infantry. We've got some 12 pounders on the line here. Hopefully, they'll cause some damage. Our men are nicely dug in here as well. So, let's just see how this goes. There's more. So, this could be the real attack, actually. I was surprised to see him coming on all right, but you know, it's obviously not impossible that he could attack from there. So our skirmishers have held us attacked and stalled them a little bit. See our guns opening up, that's those uh, parrot rifles. Not sure if we're going to be able to build these breastworks, but I'm, uh, we'll give it a try. Uh, see if they can do it. If not, then <laughs> they can't. It's not, a, it's not a huge deal. Alright, so uh, this looks like a, a big attack. Harney is one of their army commanders, or corps commanders. And he's here. Corps Commander, Department of the West. Let's get out some skirmishes. Harass those guns.
He's bringing out skirmishes as well. Cool. That's what I like to see. Take some close range fire here from the artillery. We will have to pull our guys out and uh, get some more ammunition. Let's see where his main attack comes from. Clanton low on ammunition. Let's pull his skirmishes back and we'll send them back out if possible. mission. Parsons low on ammunition. Oh, Parsons miles away. Okay, pull those skirmishes out.
Are you shifting this guys around? We really can't get much of a shot off here, which sucks. Large spread out battle. He's formed his lines. Ooh, Laws scrimmage is broken. Okay, let's pull them out. So it looks like he's going to hit us in a few places at the same time. The AI seems it seems okay actually. I mean, see we're doing all right here. Yeah. Just got to times two this. I don't want to go too fast. It's Waddell's uh, Napoleon's opened up. They're going to press on this central region. Quick look at the casualty numbers. The low is just starting, really. Only skirmishers. Oh, yes. We have had problems. Oh, fire on these videos here.
first real engagement here in the centre. Send their first brigade running. The problem is we have no reserves. And the only thing we've got coming is 3,000 men who've never fought a battle before. It's Brian skirmishes low on ammo. And we will pull them out. Skirmishes, low on ammo as well. Yep, pull them out as well. There's all these 1100 for them, 300 for us. It's not sustainable at this rate for us. Pressing forward with the car brigade here. There's a lot of cavalry in this army. We are very weak. Pretty <laughs> much outnumbered here. Outnumbered, outgunned. But if I'm honest, I'm actually quite happy about that. This is this is more like what I want to see from the AI. He seems a lot more determined than previously before I validated these fights. Oh gosh, a lot more determined indeed. He's well pressed on our centre here. He's, he's been really aggressive, and that, that's great. <laughs> well, not too great because uh, I feel like we're going to probably lose this fight and probably be annihilated this year. Green is going to move out here, and I'm going to have to move him onto this flank to see if he can That opens us up here, but you know, it's just the way it's got to be. Double quick, please. Stuart wounded from the other hand. Oh, and they're broken. Yeah, the battle's over. There's nobody to plug that gap. Let's see here, uh, Clark's only got 900 men as well. Walker, I've got him mounting up. Let's go. This is the way the AI should have been behaving. We three can see the day if one. Good job. I don't know where Stuart's going. How do you retreat that way?
This is actually pretty good for me, AI. So I, I think validating these files has absolutely made a difference. Parsons has fallen. Damn it! Parsons has one of all really good commanders. He's dead. Died even if men. Stuart's still popping around there with people. Saying that's what he's going to do. We are almost done here as well. Uh, yeah, we, we are finished here. I'm going to pull out. Situation is untenable. Yep, that's it. We're going to have to pull out. Good job from the eye. We're too strong out here. Too many casualties. Uh, I think my whole hospital is back. We're going to have to give up this position in northern Missouri. Look at the men we've got still lined up trying to push in next. We've got nobody, we're just... Oh, someone else moving to do now. LZ, Little, losing men. A minor Confederate defeat, so... Uh, I mean, he lost more men than us, but we lost 4,000 out of less than 50,000. That was a pretty bad result, really. Uh, that was a really good job from the AI, I have to admit. It was a difficult place to defend. Uh, we didn't have enough men. I probably spread us out too much. Yeah, it didn't go to plan at all. We're going to have to pull back towards Roller. Well, it's bound to happen eventually. We fought a lot of battles here and we finally lost one. I mean, we've lost a couple of minor engagements. This was actually a major battle that we've lost here. We're pulling out intact so the army isn't shattered, but, you know... Where am I going to get men from to face all these guys in Missouri? We, we're struggling with supply for our troops. We've hardly got any ammunition for the artillery. Our replacements are nowhere to be seen. I mean, we do have almost 20,000 men under pillow, but those guys have never fought a battle, most of them. I think one unit has. The Battle of Jefferson City has ended with the Trans-Mississippi Army retreating from the battlefield in good order. My command has earned us a glorious tactical victory. Well, they, uh, I like how he's putting it that way. I think this font's different as well. I like it. Whipping the enemy before withdrawing to fight another day. Yeah. 
The enemy has reportedly suffered 9,600 casualties, 1,500 killed. Uh, we lost 4,226 4, men, 625 killed, 666 ooh, missing, and the rest wounded. Morale is confident, supply situation critical. Yeah. We've got any supplies for the artillery. That's another part of our problem here. So where are these guys going to pull back to? That's the question. Let's hope they pull back towards Roller. We've got supply down here at least. At least some supply. Um, now, the Western Army. I'm going to have to pull them back towards St. Louis. The Army of Mississippi at Cairo. Actually, there's only one core left at Cairo now. 20,000 under Zolikoffer. We've pushed Donaldson up towards Salem here. Keeping the Union busy. So, what do we do? Where do we go from here, from this defeat? I think... Let's have a quick look at this, okay? So, we've just raised the army of Virginia, which is our regular troops, okay? So, that's under Bragg with Blanchard. Um, we're going to transfer these guys to the west, basically, to the Trans-Mississippi. And they're going to have to reinforce our shattered units. But, let's just see... I'm going to play time a little bit. We're going to see where these guys retreat to. Civil War in the Transvaal, okay. Now, this is just typical of this game. Why would we be retreating like this? Why are we not retreating together? We were on the field together. We clearly will have retreated the same way. But no, the Reserve Corps has had to go this way. I'm going to pull them this way. All right. Pull back towards Roller. Union issues war bonds, okay. Right, we're pulling out of here. straight on our tail here. Ooh. And we're straight into another fight. Donaldson's call. That's going to be for the next episode. So this has been... There was a grim battle here. We've been split. The Reserve Corps, for some reason, decided to head off towards the west. It gives us even more problems than we had before. We may need to abandon St. Louis here at this rate and pull back together a roller. But in the next one, we're going to have Makuk with his 45th army, 16,700 men, 28 guns against Donaldson's force of well, roughly the same, slightly more men, 18,600 with 32 guns. So that should be an interesting battle. And we'll see to that one in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you liked the battle. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. And if you like what we're doing here, subscribe. Hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. And I'll catch you later.